simply being able to show a little smile should help out with that a lot and brighten people's day a bit. A day to make this weird prototype version of it where you had to hold you had to hold this and and a battery pack in your pocket connected with a large tether to the mask and uh, it was extremely impractical so then it was a couple of days more before i got some smaller parts and was able to fit it into a uh, smaller package right here that could just fit into the mask and be powered with a uh, with a nine volt battery so that there doesn't need to be any wires or cords. These are just, this is just part of the mask itself. Not, this isn't, this isn't a power cord or anything. I've been a programmer for pretty much my entire life and I've been making video games for pretty much my entire life. But I had actually very little experience doing uh, electronics stuff. This was pretty much just a new, a new experiment for me, but you know, it's all, you know, I have programming knowledge, so and I kind of know how the electronics work a little bit. So it didn't take too long to get up to speed on how to make one of these. And it's also not that complicated. Like I posted a, I posted a DIY guide. There's pretty much only three parts on it that matter, which is a microphone, a microcontroller, and then a power source. And that's it. So I knew that those were the only things that I needed for it. And then it was just a matter of figuring out how to connect them all together. And then I already knew how to program. So writing the code wasn't too big of a deal. I mean, my goal is just to have a little bit of fun during quarantine um, and to make something cool. Like, and hopefully, you know, get other people interested in this kind of stuff because it is it's fun. It's not, not as complicated as it seems. So if other people can, you know, make something uh, good happen during these times, then uh, that's, that's great in my book.